Hi friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, the time elapsed between start and uh, end time for a given process. Okay, this is one quick example. Uh, so we are going to also compare with the Postgres side and the Oracle side, uh, the equivalent. Uh, so to start to begin with in Postgres side, so we have uh, uh, we are going to take one small example I'm defining here start time with a time as a data type and end time with time and elapsed time is the result value for the given process the task how much time is taking okay and here in the start time what I'm doing <coughs> I am I'm using clock underscore timestamp to capture the current timestamp and here what I'm just giving is start time with percentage start time and I'm going to call PG sleep for three seconds okay and and again in the end time I'm a uh, variable I'm assigning clock timestamp so after completion of this particular activity so what is the duration it took place so now the result and we are going to extra uh, subtract between end time minus start time okay then we are going to print a statement with rights notice end time percentage end time uh, okay uh, then you can give uh, elapsed time percentage view elapsed time okay and dollar okay so with this note we can understand okay so start time we are beginning of the process we are declaring the timestamp and we are displaying just for our information purpose then we are sleeping for three seconds using pg sleep okay this is typo error here okay then after that we are printing the end time uh, so capturing end time after the the sleep uh, process so we will un understand the end time snap now from that i'm printing again for our notification purpose then i'm subtracting the end time minus start time and resulting is the thing this is how for a given process what is the start time and end time it took place between the process activity and getting to know what is the actual elapsed time this is the one way around with the postgres we can achieve it let us run the code so now when you run the code you see that this is the time it started it waited for three seconds and this is the total times uh, uh, elapsed time we can understand this is the same equivalent how we can achieve through the oracle now let us get into sql developer so let us try to write a similar small code declare set server output on declare s underscore time number T underscore time number uh, and T time number for total time begin so here in S time I'm going to declare dbms underscore utility this is the package oracle package from which we can get the current timestamp in the number uh, number type so that's why we declare as number then end time so we can give tbms underscore utility dot get underscore time now by subtracting end time minus start start time we'll get to know this one then finally we can get elapsed time t underscore time and hundredth of seconds we have to subtract uh, divide here so that we'll get the precise number of uh, uh, means time it elapsed we can understand now we can run the code and see
so now you can understand this is the elapsed time so three three seconds don't <coughs> okay so this is how we can differentiate this is the equivalent code of time elapsed for a given process thank you friends for watching my video hope this video helpful for you please subscribe my channel thank you